Hi guys, welcome back to Food for Life TV. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know many of us are trying to stay in, uh, especially with the increasing lockdowns, closure of businesses. We are all trying to practice the social distancing and just staying in. And also with just new news coming out that one third of cases coming out of China are actually asymptomatic, which does scare me a little. So even though Hong Kong may be somewhat leveling off or we don't see such crazy spikes, I still think that it is wise for us to continue practicing the social distancing and also staying indoors and at home. So when we're at home, we might as well take the opportunity to give ourselves some self-love, self-care. I myself, I've been doing more detoxes, so detoxing my liver, but also doing a skin detox. And today I'd like to share with you guys what I'm doing at home. So how I do my skin detox is with the Cartier clay masks. And with clay, you have uh, just a really dual effect where you are drawing impurities out from the skin and you're also able to nourish your skin with the minerals that's found in the clay. And this is why I love using clay to detox the skin rather than really um, either like more harsh exfoliators because clay is very, very gentle and it really goes down through to your pores and just draws out all those impurities. And so for myself, I did that for I think four or five days consecutively and I found that my pores had shrunk from that, which this is why I wanted to share with you guys. So you can, the Cartier clay has four colors and they're all natural colors from the natural clay and they're all organic clay from France. Uh, but the white clay is the most gentlest of clays. It's kind of like for every skin type. And then we have a green clay, which is more for oily skin. The yellow clay, which is for dry skin. And then the pink clay, which is for sensitive skin. So for myself, also because the weather is not as humid and as Actually, it's been cooler. I've used, I use the yellow clay and for my T-zone, I use the green clay. So you can also do like a multi-masking clay where you have your T-zone, you put the green clay on and then um, the yellow clay maybe on your cheeks and then maybe some of like your more sensitive spots like your chin area, especially now where we're wearing masks a lot. It, our skin might be just more sensitive here and uh, you could use the pink clay in this uh, jawline area. So what you do is basically wash your face really well and apply a nice thick layer on and just sit back and enjoy. You can watch your Netflix. What you can't watch is crash landing because if you're anything like me, a crier, it doesn't work because the tears and the clay won't mix. So you're gonna have to find another Netflix to watch. After that, once it's dried, then you can wash it off and that's maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then I followed up with a sleeping mask. And this is by far my all time favorite sleeping mask. It's by Knight and it uses a, an ingredient called ladies mantle. And ladies mantle generally absorbs a lot of water. And so what it does is it brings this moisture into your skin and one little just half pack like this, I can use it two to three evenings. So actually this goes a long, long way. And what I do with the sleeping mask, I don't just put it on my face. So I'll actually massage all of the, kind of like the pressure point areas with the mask. And then I'll put another nice thicker layer on and then go to sleep and have my beauty sleep. So another important thing that I like to do is make sure that I'm also massaging the lymphatic areas. And you can do this either with a dry brush, which is another amazing skin saving and anti-aging thing that you can do at home. Or you can use an oil or even just extra cream from the mask and massage your lymph nodes. So with, with skin dry brushing, what you wanna do is make sure you have a dry brush. There are spe specific brushes made for dry brushing. So don't just get any brush out there because the, the, the hairs are de definitely a lot softer and it's specifically for your skin. Otherwise you'll be breaking your skin barrier. And you want to just basically start from your legs and move up towards your heart area. You wanna be brushing always towards your heart. And especially for myself where I had lymphoma, the cancer of lymph nodes, this is just something that I do every so often just to help move the lymph system 
along and you actually end up with glowing, beautiful skin. And so you can do this before showering and then you can follow up with this skin mask. Another aspect of this Knipe sleeping mask that I love is that it is pH balanced. So the skin, our, our pH of our skin actually needs to be more acidic. So it's the opposite. In our bodies, we want a more alkaline body, but our skin, in order to regenerate and to rejuvenate, we actually want to keep it around 5, 5.5, which is more acidic. And so the formulation of this reactivation line is all pH balanced for rejuvenation and reactivation of our skin cells. And so this is another reason why this is my all time favorite sleeping mask. And you can travel with it, it's easy to store, and you it, a little bit goes really a long, long way. And lastly, you can also splurge a little if you want, and also use this eye patch. So this is something new to Food for Life, and this eye patch uses a special technology where it brings the peptides and hyaluronic acid, all of just the great nourishing skin ingredients and it uses the technology where it creates little small cones and when you put it on your eye, it can actually penetrate deeper into your epidermis and right into your cells creating collagen and it's specifically for the eye. So this is the Luna Microcare Eye Patch and this, you wouldn't need you know, an every, to do it every day but it's kind of like one box is uh, one session and then you can wait for another few months before you go do this again. But in terms of deep detoxification and clay, and then just a nourishing, moisturizing, regenerating mask. These are my go-tos and something that I'll do every month. But especially in this COVID stay-at-home lockdown period, I'm doing this a lot more and I'm loving it. My skin's loving it. And I hope that you guys will also love it. So enjoy your time at home. Be safe. Pamper yourself. Take this time to really practice this self love, self-care, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.